Hello again, thanks for watching. This is another quick tips video from Go Engineer. My name is Joseph Katrona. Today we're going to install Microsoft SQL Server 2014. If you've recently purchased Enterprise PDM, or if you're upgrading the server, moving the server, things like that, you may be faced with installing SQL. If you don't have a lot of experience with Microsoft SQL, it may seem like a challenge, but for our purposes, just for setting it up to be used by Enterprise PDM, it's actually pretty simple. So let's get started. First thing to do is pop the disk in the server optical drive. Now this disk comes with Enterprise PDM. If you've purchased EPDM or if you have uh, purchased it in the past, you received a media kit, a uh, little box with the DVDs in there. One DVD is for the Enterprise PDM server and client software. The other DVD will be a Microsoft SQL. And it's important to note that your serial number is embedded in there. So I'll go ahead and just double click that. The installation center contains a lot of good information, options, maintenance, planning, documentation. We're going to jump straight to the installation section and open a new SQL Server standalone installation. There it is. As mentioned, the serial number for your Microsoft SQL is embedded in your disk. So it's important to keep that disk. A lot of this is just going to be next, next, next. Pretty self-explanatory. We do need to accept the license terms. Choose next again. And we'll see that screen if you were looking closely. We'll see that rules check type scenario pop up a few times. The installation is going to verify that certain rules and prerequisites are in place. I'll choose next again here. Now, here's a good example. If on any one of these rules check screens, the installation setup uh, application finds a warning or a problem, a failure, you will see a list down below. If everything checks out, it'll just jump straight ahead. So I, I, I've got one warning here, and, and that works out to be a good example. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to worry about that warning. I will have all of the server components here on the same local machine. So I'm not concerned about the firewall. And again, this is just a warning because the installation assumes that if you do have a Windows firewall in place between the computers, that you'll know you have to open certain ports. Choose Next. This screen allows you to just jump and install a SQL Server with defaults or to choose the features you need. We're going to choose the features that are important for use with Enterprise PDM. Now the first one I want to install is the database engine service. Next, client tools connectivity, integration services, client tools backwards compatibility, documentation components, and management tools. Now if you're installing SQL 2008 or some other version, some of the naming may be different. So we have a video out on our YouTube page for the, uh, SQL 2008 as well. And feel free to reach out for documentation or help if you're using a different version. This is Microsoft SQL 2014. Well, after I've selected my features, I'll choose next again. Now this screen would allow me to, uh, in my case, just install a default instance or if SQL is already running or if uh, we'll be using SQL for other things on the server, that would be where you'd need to install named instances. In my case, SQL will only be used by EPDM. That's the only reason, so I can just install the default instance, choose Next. Next is the server configuration page. This is going to allow me to select the startup type, whether it's automatic or manual, and the account that is used by the various services. So all of these need to be set to automatic. We'll start with that. And if you look in the installation guide on page 20 for Enterprise PDM, it designates what we can, what we should set for the accounts to be used by these services. If you're, again, if you're using, uh, installing a different version of SQL, you may be looking at NT Authority System and some other options here. Microsoft SQL 2014 has simplified a little bit and I'm not sure why, but there, there aren't the same options this year. 
The only options available are the options we need to use. Next thing we need to do is jump to the Collation tab. But don't get in too much of a hurry on this screen. There is a second tab here. We need to customize the database engine, choose Windows Collation, and select Latin One General. The installation guide specifies that you should select the appropriate Collation designator for your locale. If you're watching this video in English, that's likely going to be Latin General. Choose OK there, and now we're ready to hit Next. This is an important option for Enterprise PDM. Enterprise uses the SA account to access the databases. When choosing mixed mode, there is a built-in administrator in a SQL installation. That person's username is SA, as mentioned there. So this is an important password for the system administrator, that built-in user for SQL. I'll go ahead and specify my password and confirm. And then it's important to specify server administrators. If you are going to log in using a Windows account, that person or those administ those users on the domain or on the local machine should be specified here. So I'll add myself to that list. In general, we're going to add the current user. Typically, when I'm doing these installs with clients, they are logged in as an administrator on the domain. So after doing that, we can skip these tabs and choose next. And that really gets us 90% um, complete. There's a verification screen so that we can see the summary of what is going to be installed and with what configuration Then I can choose install and let it turn. Okay, sometime later, we should see a confirmation screen that the installation is complete. Green checks. And that's it. The installation center will still be open. Don't, uh, don't let this uh, confuse you that the installation is still in progress. The actual install has completed and we can now close the installation center. And congratulations, you've successfully installed Microsoft SQL Server 2014. I'm also going to do a video shortly after for the installation of Enterprise SolidWorks Enterprise PDM 2015 on this same new computer. So stay tuned for that. Feel free to leave us a comment if you have any questions or if you'd like to see any certain videos in the future. We're happy to review those and post accordingly. So thanks for watching. Hope this helped.